reach the peak of that job i mean you can reach the peak of that industry as a supervisor as a mentor as a director and as a ceo the chief executive of the company you can become any one of you if you will take the job as you are the owner of it start taking responsibilities of the stewards your managers start taking their responsibilities when you start taking their responsibilities the day will come you will be on their seat and they will get promoted as in a higher position and you will be the reason of their promotion and so i encourage every one of you start on your things that will bring bring amazing development in your career i will not be taking much time of you our guest speaker is here have to the real speech will be from him so <laughs> thank you thank you very much for taking this step i always remember you in my prayer may god bless you may god give you lot of success in your life here in this world and hereafter mabuhar Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being so happy to have us in our class. So, it's quite a business and strength in order to have the person in our class. So, do you stand up? No, it's all right. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
recognition, and most importantly, the launch plan in their future. Before I begin, I wish to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Mohammed and the other Mr. Mohammed and the team at the and the management for giving us new special and having a preferred your studies. Let's give them a round of applause. For many of you, the path to this graduation has been anything but straightforward. You are not just students, and some of you are working professionals, juggling multiple responsibilities, striving to balance your jobs, studies, and personal lives while navigating the complexities of living in a foreign country. Your commitment to education while managing these challenges speaks volumes about your character. It is a testament to your determination and tenacity. Think back to those long nights and studying after a full day of work, the countless cups of coffee that fuel your daily nighttime sessions, the sacrifices made to pursue your dream. You face the challenges that many would find daunting, yet you persevere. You push through moments of exhaustion. And certainty. And here you stand today, ready to perform the next chapter of your life. That is not a small thing, and you should take it in stride on your accomplishments. Graduation is not merely the conclusion of a course, it is the beginning of new opportunities. It signifies that you have acquired knowledge, honed your skills, and develop a strong foundation on which to build your future. Remember, education is a powerful tool, one that can transform your dreams into reality. But how do you choose to build this tool to learn in the direction of your journey? As you stand at the bridge of this new chapter, I urge you to embrace the unknown. The world is vast and full of possibilities. The moment in your life is a unique opportunity to explore new horizons, to take risks, and to innovate yourselves. The challenges you face have equipped you with a perspective that is invaluable in today's world. Your diverse backgrounds, experiences, and insights are assets that will set you apart in this globalized workforce that awaits you. In your time here at the you have not only learned academic content, but also developed essential life skills, adaptability, cultural awareness, and resilience. These experiences are the building blocks of success, trusting your ability to navigate challenges and embrace change, and to seize opportunities as they arise. Remember, Adaptability is one of the most crucial skills you can possess in this world that is constantly evolving. As you celebrate this milestone, in a moment you reflect on the people who have supported you along the way. Your families, friends, mentors. They have played an integral role in your success. They have been your cheerleaders during the nighttime sessions. <laughs> Offered comfort during moments of doubt and celebrated your victories, both big and small. Acknowledging that their contributions is essential. Express your gratitude to them for their belief in you as they are my part of your journey. And before I continue, let us offer a big round of applause to your ever supported family, friends, and colleagues. Now, let's discuss the future. A future that is right for possibilities, but also filled with experiences. It is easy to feel overwhelmed by the challenges that lie ahead. You may be wondering what comes next. Perhaps you are excited about the opportunities that await you. Or maybe you're not about stepping into the unknown. I encourage you 
to view this uncertainty not as a force of fear, but as a canvas for possibilities. Please always remember the most successful individuals are often those who embrace change consensus. They are the ones who are unafraid to step outside the comfort zones. In this very fast-paced, ever-changing world, your ability to adapt will be your greatest asset. Whether you choose to enter the workforce immediately, pursue further studies, or embark on an entrepreneurial venture, keep in mind, learning does not end here. Lifelong learning is an essential aspect of personal and professional growth. Seek out new experiences, embrace challenges, and continue to expand your knowledge. Surround yourself with people who inspire you, challenge you, and push you to reach new heights. Each encounter, each new piece of knowledge will enrich your life and open doors you never imagined possible. As you look ahead, I encourage you to pursue your passions with relentless commitment and determination. Identify what excites you, what motivates you, and what you want to achieve in life. The world needs your unique voice, your creativity, and your innovative spirit. Each of you has the potential to make a significant impact whether in your chosen field, your community, or even on a global scale. Remember that success is not solely defined by the job titles or financial achievements. It's also about the impact you have on others, the legacy you create, and the values you uphold. Strive to be a force for good in this world. Use your education experiences to uplift those around you, to advocate for change, and to contribute positively to the society. As you navigate your careers and personal lives, you will encounter obstacles and setbacks. Do not be disheartened by failure. Rather, view it as an opportunity for growth. Every successful individual has faced challenges and failures along their journey. It is not the setbacks that define you, but how you respond to each of them. Embrace resilience and learn from each experience, allowing it to shape you into a stronger and more capable individual. In closing, I want to leave you with a few key thoughts as you embark on this exciting new chapter. First, believe in yourselves. You are capable of achieving great things, trusting your abilities and the knowledge you have gained. Second, embrace change. The world is constantly evolving and so should you. Be open to new ideas, experiences, and perspectives. And finally, stay connected. Cultivate relationships with your peers, mentors, and those who inspire you. These connections will be inv invaluable as you navigate your careers and personal journeys. The future is bright and it belongs to you. Carry the lessons you've learned, the friendships you've forged, and the dreams you hold close to your hearts. You have already achieved so much and I can't wait to see what you will accomplish in the years to come. Congratulations, this class of 2024. Go forth and make your mark on the world. Thank you very much, and Mabuhay po for you.
So now we are fortunate to have uh, Vice Consul Aaron grace our event today, and we are sincerely grateful for the Philippine Embassy's support to ICC, particularly to the welfare of our students. Okay, at this point, ladies and gentlemen, we will be proceeding the presentation of our students who successfully completed the UK Diploma and ICSA Skill Courses. To formally present them, we will call on the following presenters to please join with us on stage. For the Computer Secretarial, Graphics Designing, International Culinary, Social Media Advertisement, and English and Students, we will have our specialized instructor, Mr. R.J. Masilang Gise. And for the airline ticketing students, we will call on our specialized instructor, Mr. Nabil Khan. For the office management and level three UK diploma in business innovation and entrepreneurship, Students, we will call on ICSE faculty, Ms. Rachel Korda. For the Level 3 and Level 4 UK Diploma in Health and Social Care, students, we will have our adjunct instructor, Mr. Mark Kevin Jacos. For the Level 4 UK Diploma in Information Technology students, we will call on Specialist Instructor, Mr. Ramir Ramos. For the Level 4 UK Diploma in Business Management students, we will have our adjunct specialized instructor, Mr. Roland Gonzalez. And lastly, we will have our Academic Manager and Senior Instructor, Ma Maria Rebecca Aisha Virai, to present our Level 7 UK Diploma in Strategic Management and Leadership students. This will all then be followed by the confirmation of graduates by ICSA President Mr. Amir Farouk Mohammed. Students of Computer Secretarial, Graphic Designing, International Culinary, Social Media Advertisement, and English Enhancement. Please rise. Mr. President, I present to you the students who have successfully completed their academic requirements under ICC curriculum. 50 students of Certificate in Computer Secretarial. 4 students of Certificate in Graphic Design. 8 students of Certificate in International Culinary. One student of certificate in social media advertising, and one student of certificate in English enhancement. Student of airline ticketing, please rise. Mr. President, I present to you these two students of airline ticketing who have successfully completed all their academic requirements under YSN USA curriculum. The students of Office Management course, please rise. The students of Level 3 Diploma in Business Innovation and Entrepreneurship course, please rise. Mr. President, I present to you these seven students of certificate in the office management course who successfully completed all their academic requirements under ICC curriculum. And two students of level three diploma in business innovation and entrepreneurship course who successfully completed all their academic requirements under qualified curriculum.
students of UK diploma in level 3 of in health and social care please rise students of UK diploma in health and social care level 4 please rise Mr. President, I present to you these 15 students of level 3 and 73 students of level 4, UK Diploma in Health and Social Care. All of them are successfully completed all of their requirements academically under qualified UK Diploma curriculum. Uh, students of um, qualified UK Level 4 Diploma in Information Technology, please rise. Mr. President, I present to you seven students of um, qualified level 4 diploma in information technology who have successfully completed all their academic requirements under the qualified UK diploma curriculum. That's it. Uh, future managers, please rise. The level 4 diploma in business management. Mr. President, may I present to you this uh, student of level 4 diploma in business management who successfully completed all the requirements under UK curriculum. So, uh, the students of UK diploma in accounting and finance, please rise. And the students of the UK diploma level 7 in strategic management and leadership, please rise. Mr. President, I present to you these two students of level 3 and 4 Diploma in Accounting and Finance and six students of level 7 Diploma in Strategic Management and Leadership Postgraduate MBA who successfully completed all their academic requirements under the Qualified UK Diploma Curriculum.
surgery. May test kami sa iyo. Isa-isa din -isa tawagin yung pang naklad ka. Right, so once again, let us all welcome our level 7 UK Diploma in Strategic Management and Leadership. Starting with Alforeza Juan Jubilia, Academic Awardee and also completed Office Management course.
Let's have a warm applause, Mr. William Darwin Chester Delvon, to give his inspirational speech. Good evening, distinguished guests, esteemed faculty, beloved family, and to my fellow graduates. Good evening. I am deeply honored and grateful to receive this recognition. About a year ago, many of my closest friends at work at the same time decided to move abroad for better opportunities in a change of environment. Some ventured to Poland, Croatia, uh, Canada, and the UK, leaving me with a sense of uh, being left behind. So I felt like I needed to do something similar and it reached a point where I considered taking any job just to go abroad and keep up with the trend. But as I kept thinking about the next steps, I felt lost, as if I was starting from zero. But one Sunday, August 20, 2023, I, I remember, um, I went to church in Manila, seeking guidance from God. After the service, I reflected, would moving to Poland or Croatia truly fill my, the void in my heart? my heart. So I prayed sincerely asking for a sign to guide to guide me towards his plan. As I headed back to Maria Bas Station to home, a foreign man handed me a brochure, ICSA brochure. At that moment I knew it was part of God's plan. Throughout my working life my main goal was to provide for my family and help my two sisters to finish their studies. By then, my sisters had already graduated and we were working together to support our family. In that moment, I realized it was time to do something for myself. That realization led me back to school. At first, I, I felt overwhelmed, like I was back to square one. Especially in the first month, I was constantly asking questions, feeling clueless. Thankfully, uh, Mom, A, Mom Anna and others are there to help me. But I soon discovered I was a little feeling, uh, feeling lost, all of us. But in all seriousness, going back to school wasn't easy. It was much harder than I had imagined. Thankfully, we had the support of Mom Aisha, our instructor, who guided us every step of the way. She mentored, encouraged, even tolerated and spoiled us when needed. And for that, we are profoundly grateful, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, ICSA, for truly living up to your motto, your partner in success. Your support has given us hope and the chance to continue moving forward. We are especially grateful for the opportunity.